Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tastyworks tutorial series. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to place stop loss orders on the Tastyworks mobile app, and that's gonna be both for stock and for options. Now jumping right into it, let's go to my positions page, and let's first start off with using stock as an example. Right up there at the top, you can see I've got one share of Palantir in this account, and let's say I wanted to get stopped out of Palantir if it ever dropped down to 14 bucks a share. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and click on Palantir up there, and as soon as I do, you can see a little pop-up window comes up, and right there it says manage the Palantir position. You can see some options there to close the position, create a new trade, or just get details about Palantir the stock. In my case, since we wanna create a stop order, we're gonna go ahead and click on close position. As soon as I do that, an order ticket pops up to actually close out my position on Palantir. Here we can see the sell button is automatically selected. It's in red, which is exactly what we want. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that. We're gonna go ahead and change the order type from a limit order to a stop order. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that and we're gonna use a stop market order first off. Right below that, we're gonna change the time and force from a day order to a, let's say, good until canceled order, so GTC. We're gonna leave the quantity as one because right now we only have one share of pounds here in this account. And the last thing we're gonna change is the stop activation price. Right now it's $15.96. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, delete it out of there. And for this example, we wanted to get stopped out if it ever dropped below 14 bucks a share. So we're gonna go ahead and type in 14 and hit save. Now that's it. I mean, that's everything you have to do to put in a stop order on the Tastyworks mobile app. Right now I'm saying I wanna get stopped out of this position if it ever drops below 14 bucks a share. And if it ever drops below 14, a market order is gonna go out there to close this position. Now keep in mind with a stop market order, we don't know exactly what we're gonna get filled at. Could be 14 bucks, could be 13.99, could be 13.98, who knows. If it fills during regular market hours, you can pretty much expect it's gonna be at 14 or maybe slightly below it. Really the only time you're gonna see big gaps below this price is gonna be if there's a big pre-market move. So let's say Palantir closes at like 15 bucks, it's doing fine, but in the pre-market there's some horrible news announced and let's say it drops significantly. It drops from 15 all the way down to 13. Because stop orders are not active in the pre or post market, that means this order is gonna do absolutely nothing until the market opens up. As soon as the market opens up and it sees the stock is currently trading below 14, your stop is gonna be immediately activated and a market order is gonna go out there. And since it's a market order, it's gonna fill at whatever the current price is. And in this example, it opens up at 13 bucks. So you would end up filling well below what you expected. You expected to fill at 14, you actually filled at 13, but that's the risk of using a stop market order. Now, if you wanted to protect yourself in some way or in a small way, you could change it from a stop market order to a stop limit order. So we'll go ahead and change that. You can now see that almost everything is exactly the same, except now you've got a stop price and a limit price there. Now the stop price is gonna be same as before. We still wanna get stopped out if it drops below 14, so we'll go ahead and change that and save it. But now instead of a market order going out there once your stop is activated, a limit order will go out there instead. So basically this just puts a lower end threshold of what you're willing to accept. So let's say the absolute lowest you would be willing to sell these shares for is gonna be, I don't know, 1380, let's say. So we'll type in 1380 and save that. What I'm essentially saying is I still wanna get out of this share of pounds here if it ever drops below 14, but I'm not willing to sell it for anything less than 1380. And by the way, it's still gonna try and sell it for 14 if 14 is available. It will try and get 1399 if it can, or 1398. All this is saying is I'm not willing to sell it for less than 1380. Obviously, I would still like to get more if I can, but if it's trading for less than 1380, do not sell it. Now, neither of these is gonna be perfect, either the stop limit or stop market, because obviously we have no idea what's gonna happen next. If the stock opens up at 13, but then immediately goes down to 10, well then you're gonna wish you would use a stop market order because at least you would have gotten out at 13. But if it opens up at 13 and then goes all the way back up to 14, you're gonna have wished you use a stop limit order. So again, neither of them is gonna be perfect. It's really whichever one you feel most comfortable using, but this is how you would do it. If we were happy with this, we would simply hit review and send in the lower right hand corner. We would confirm everything looks right, the order ticket looks good, and we would simply submit it. As soon as we do, the order is submitted, and if we go to the activity page, we will be able to see the order right here. It's telling us right now the stop activation price is 14 bucks, and the limit price that's gonna go out there is 1380. If we changed our minds and we wanted to cancel this, we could simply click on the order ticket and hit cancel in the lower right-hand corner. We're then gonna confirm we wanna cancel this order, hit yes, and the order has been canceled. Now for the next one, putting in a stop on an options contract. So let's go back to the positions page, and down below you can see I actually have a SoFi $14.5 call. 
At the moment, it's not doing so hot. It's only trading for 11 cents, but let's say I wanted to get stopped out if it ever went down below nine cents a contract. So just like before, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. From there, you get the Manage SoFi position, but this one gives you a few additional options. First off, you have the ability to roll the contract, you can create a new trade, you can close the position, or you can close at a percentage profit. Now in my case, since we're using a stop order, we're just gonna click on Close Position. From there, it takes us to an order ticket just like before, but this one looks a little bit more confusing. Down at the bottom, it's telling us we wanna sell this one January 21st, 2022, $14.5 call, but we wanna sell it at a limit price right now of 10 cents. Now, keeping in mind, I wanna put a stop order in, we actually need to look at the left-hand side of this order ticket and click on the more button, which has like three little dots right below it. As soon as I do that, a little window pops up, giving us a few different options, but the one we're gonna click on is the type of order, which currently says limit. As soon as we click on that, you should see a little pop-up window come up asking what type of order do we wanna use. In our case, we're simply gonna click on the stop market order option, and now we've got the new order ticket down below. If we wanted to get stopped out, if it ever dropped down to nine cents, we can see the stop trigger is currently 10 cents, so we're gonna go ahead and change that to nine cents. And I also forgot to make this good until canceled, so let's go ahead and click on that more button once again and change the time and force to a good until canceled order down at the bottom there. Now that I'm done with that, everything looks right. We're selling one of the $14.5 calls with a stop activation price of nine cents. We would simply hit review and send just like before. We're gonna make sure the order ticket looks correct. It says we're still using a stop market order with a trigger of nine cents. Since it does look correct, we're gonna go ahead and hit submit and the order has been submitted. We can go ahead and see it on the activity page just like before. And since I don't wanna place this one either, we'll go ahead and click on it and cancel the order. Now I know we went through that quick, but that is really everything you guys need to know to place a stop loss order yourself on the Tastyworks mobile app. If I did miss anything or you guys have any additional questions at all, please let me know down below. Also, if you guys are already planning on opening a Tastyworks account and wanna help me out a little bit, use my link down below. It really does help me out. But that wraps things up for today's video. I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see you all in the next video.